Low Technologies GmbH pronounced L -O -stroke -V is the parent company of the German Low Group. The Low Group develops, manufactures and sells a wide variety of electronic, electrical and mechanical products and systems, and specializes in the field of consumer and communication technology. The company was founded in Berlin in 1923 by brothers Siegmund and David L. Lowe. The company has its headquarters and sole production facilities in Kronik, Franconia. Today, the range has expanded to include televisions, Blu-ray players, DVD recorders, hard disk recorders, multiroom systems, speakers and racks. The trend is shifting from individual products to complete home entertainment systems. Lowe is also represented internationally by sales partners and subsidiaries. These include subsidiaries in the Benelux countries, France, Italy, Switzerland and the UK. There are exclusive low galleries acting as flagship stores in many cities around the world, including Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Hong Kong, Amman, London, Madrid, Moscow, Paris, Rome and Vienna. Topic company history It all began in 1923 in Berlin, when Dr. Siegmund Lowe and his brother David Ludwig Lowe established a radio manufacturing company called Radiofrequenz GmbH. Their work with the young physicist Manfred von Arden in 1926 led to the development of the triple tube, which was first used in the low OE333 radio receiver. This tube prompted Lowe's multi-tube production and is today lauded as the world's first integrated circuit. Television development began at Lowe in 1929. The company worked together with British television pioneer John Logie Baird. In 1931, Manfred von Arden presented the world's first fully electronic television to the public on the low stand at the 8th Berlin Radio Show. When Hitler came to power in Germany, Siegmund Lowe had to emigrate to the USA in 1938, where he developed friendship with yet another forced emigrant, Albert Einstein. In 1949, Siegmund Lowe regained possession of company property and took over as chairman of the supervisory board. In the 1950s, Lowe began producing the Optophon, the first cassette tape recorder, and manufacturing televisions in Kronik. 1961 saw the first European video recorder, the Opticord 500, enter mass production. In 1962, the family company tradition ended with the death of Siegmund Lowe. Subsidiaries of the Philips Group took over the majority of shares. Under this management, which continued until 1985, the company increasingly specialized in the development and production of televisions. In 1963, the first portable television, Low Optoport, was launched. It had a 25 cm screen and built in FM radio. The first low-color televisions were launched along with the introduction of color television in Germany. In 1979 Lowe introduced a fully integrated chassis everything on a single board television production. The first European stereo television followed in 1981. In 1985, management made Lowe a privately owned company again after Philips sold its shares. In the same year, Lowe created the Art One, a new generation of TVs with a focus on design. The CS1 represented another international first in 1995 as the world's first fully recyclable television. 
At this time, the course was also set for systematic further development as a multimedia specialist. 1998 marked two more milestones in the company history, the launch of the Zellos at Media, the first television with Internet access, and that of the Spheros, the first low flat screen television. In the following year, LoAG became a publicly listed company. With the individual, the first flat screen TV with individual housing options, set up solutions, and inset colors, Lowe became a premium flat screen TV manufacturer. LED technology was adopted at Lowe in 2010 in the new individual. In the following year, Lowe introduced 3D picture display to its individual range. Following financial hardships, in July 2013 the company filed for bankruptcy protection, but after subsequent severe financial losses, on 1 October 2013 the Lowe Group declared bankruptcy and entered in a self administration insolvency process. The protective proceedings for Lowe AG and Lowe Opta GmbH have transitioned into a self administration insolvency process. German, Insolvenzverfahren in Eigenverwaltung. The Coburg Insolvency Court approved a request on this matter from Lowe's management and confirmed self administration. The business will remain fully operational beyond 1 October 2013. On 17 January 2014, the company announced that Lowe's management board reached an agreement with an investor group composed of German family run companies and former Apple and Bang and Olufsen managers. However, their takeover of major assets from Lowe AG failed. In March 2014 major assets from Lowe AG were taken by the Munich-based investor Stargate Capital GmbH. This secures the future of the traditional Lowe brand in Germany, under German ownership. Topic products type February 1929 Lowe started producing televisions. Manfred von Arden focused on electronic circuits. On December 14, 1930, with the help of cathode ray tube, he first succeeded in fully electronic transmission of diapositives. Consequently, the first public broadcast of movies took place in 1931 and two years later, Lowe presented the first type February ready for serial production. Lowe Optiport in 1963, Lowe designed the first fully transistorized and portable TV, the Optiport. The device had a screen diagonal of 9.8 inches and was equipped with an integrated ultra short wave radio section. Art 1 in February 1981, Lowe presented the first stereo sound TV in Europe. Four years later they introduced the Art 1, a newly designed and technic-oriented generation of televisions. D2MAC The D2MAC method for TV components allowed digital sound to be transmitted stereo or in various languages. The image transmission came close to studio quality due to RGB component transmission. Lowe participated in the use of modernized European TV technology by building the first German TV device with internally pluggable D2MAC decoder, SAT TV turner and PIP modules. The 16-9 television tubes already enabled a standard resolution of first trial and live broadcasting of the Olympic Games in 1992. However, the 1250 lines HD TV did not manage to establish itself and was pulled off the market after the distribution of German programs via Astra. CS1 the first environmentally friendly CS1 went into production in 1995. 
The device essentially consisted of ceramics, copper, aluminium, silicon and iron. Television tubes could be disposed separately while the casing cover and electronics were conceptualized such that they could completely melt it down for reuse. Hence, it was possible to disassemble the CS-1 in order to recycle the components. Zellos at Media and Spheros from 1995 onwards, Low kept evolving from classic consumer electronics to a multimedia specialist. In 1997, Low introduced the Zellos at Media, the first TV with internet access. In the same year, the first low flat screen TV Spheros debuted. Zellos at Media and Spheros from 1995 onwards, Low kept evolving from classic consumer electronics to a multimedia specialist. In 1997, Low introduced the Zellos at Media, the first TV with internet access. In the same year, the first low flat screen TV Spheros debuted. Multitle TV 10 In 1988, the Multitle TV 10 proved the latest dynamics of communication electronics that could be performed by TV devices at that time. Telephoning, keeping a name register, database queries, sending telexes and telefax and using the entire media bandwidth was made possible with no more than one, compact device. Individual, Art and Connect individual was the first flat-screen TV which offered individual housing options and setup solutions as well as inset colors and enabled Lowe's breakthrough as premium manufacturer. The Low Connect, introduced in 2008, was the first smart TV worldwide with fully integrated linkage which offered cable-free access to multimedia files, external hard drive and PC systems. In 2010 Lowe developed its first batch produced LCD TV with LED background lighting, the next generation individual SL. In the same year, the LED series Art and Connect with Doctor Plus Streaming, MediaText, HBBTV, CEHTML and an improved streaming client were introduced at the IFA exhibition. The increasing intelligent networking of modern homes was integrated with functions like Follow Me, which enables the user to record or start watching a movie in one room and finish watching it in another room, enabling a multiroom function. Build, Clang, Plus in 2016, Lowe introduced a German nomenclature of its products in order to authentically communicate its German roots. The German product names are supposed to convey the use of the respective products within the entertainment system, build TV devices, clang speakers, and plus accessories. Nominations At the 63rd IF Design Award presentation, held in BMW Welt in Munich on 10 March 2017, Low Technologies GmbH, Germany's premium consumer electronics manufacturer, was selected from over 5,500 entries from 59 countries to receive five international awards. The Low Build 7 television and the Low Clang 5 wireless speaker system received the IF Gold Award, while the Low Build 3, the Clang 5 subwoofer and the Low OS user interface were honored with IF Design Awards in the Product category. Low won five awards at the German Design Awards for innovative products with trendsetting designs, which were presented during the Ambiente Trade Fair for Consumer Goods in Frankfurt on 10 February. 
Three awards were given for audio products, including the new Low Clang 5 wireless active speakers and subwoofer and Low Clang 1 subwoofer, and the two for the TV sets Low Build 7 with OLED technology and Low Build 1. Topic: Literature. 75 Yara Low, 1923 to 1998. Und Zukunft get waiter. Authors edition 1998. Killian J L. Steiner, Ortsempfänger, Volksfernseher und Optifon. Die Entwicklung der Deutschen Radio und Fernsehindustrie und das Unternehmen Low 1923-1962. Klartext Verlag, Essen 2005, ISBN 978-3-89861-492-4 Frank Kuper, Jürgen Kindervater, Heiko Dertinger, Andreas Heim HRSG, Das Diktat der Markenführung, 11 Thesen zur Nachhaltigen Markenführung und Implementierung. MIT einem umfassenden Fallbeispiel der Loag, Gabler Verschwerlage, Wiesbaden 2009, ISBN 978-3-8349-0852-0.